not only inside this house, this community right here. I haven't had a fake ID since high school. Sorry, mom and dad. But this has me wanting to age just a little bit quicker. I don't know why they don't make master plan communities like this for people my age. We are doing a 55 plus community today. And before you jump off this video, you may want to stick on there because we are getting a lot of comments from you guys of, hey, what about 55 plus communities, right? Or if you're like me, I moved here just a couple years ago and both of my parents had mentioned, hey, we're kind of thinking about coming that way. Today, we even see multiple people here who are from out of the state whose kids moved here and they're just following suit. And they wanted the best 55 plus community that was close to medical centers, that was close to 45, that was close to shopping, that had golf, that was next to Lake Conroe and has its own marina. And it looks like Austin, Texas. Are you kidding me right now? Oh has its own vineyard as well. Every other week it has a new massive function going on with hundreds of people showing up and you have the most state of the art community center, workout center. This community right here called Chambers Creek, it might just be the nicest place to live in all of Houston, Texas. Now, not only does the 55 plus community get one of the coolest places to live in Houston, they also get the best prices. I don't know what's going on. We will finish with this completely custom house at the end. But first, we're gonna be starting with some of these houses right here that are on 50 and 60 foot lots that have amazing views or could be on a golf course. And it is not even fair when we talk about how low the prices are for these houses. So we're gonna go into a few of these houses here and finish with that completely custom one back there and also give you a tour of Chambers Creek, this master plan community that is in Willis, Texas, right next to Lake Conroe. So. Let's go. It's not easy to get in here. Mm -hmm. I mean, we even had to check in to get past to the gate. We went to have this special card. So look, this this, is, this ain't easy to get up in here. <laughs> what you got there? <laughs> oh my gosh. I got a pass. <laughs> to get in. All right, wait, wait, wait. I know we're at a 55 plus community, so if you're not 55, you might want to jump off the video. Don't, okay? We're going to go into three incredible floor plans today that they actually build in the city, but this is one of the newest developments, so you're going to see 2024 floor plans. But the only thing about this community being 55 plus, man, they get the best deals. These are the coolest houses I've ever been in my life, and we're going to go into that first one right now with Austin, Texas, Hill Country Views just right outside of Houston. When the heck did this ever come about? All right, so let's go check it out. All right, Jackson, here we are, an all-time, I always say all-time favorite. No, <laughs> this is exactly what I would be looking for in a single level home. One, because it's the new refreshed again, 2024 look, and this community, what this has, it is a 55 plus community. So let's take a look at what that looks like. Yeah, so rolling in, and then we came in and checked out this house. Jojo, man, he was geeking out, had the smile a mile wide, so it has everything that he would love in a house. But again, when you come through the gates, the community, you see the rolling hills, uh, and what you see in the backyard of this right now, you won't find anywhere in Houston, Texas, so. Yeah, none of the suburbs we've been in anywhere. It is a view that is absolutely gorgeous. So let's go in and take a look. All right. Come on in. Dang, my Jojo, this is the living. It sure is. And if you look, it's like there's no other entry that you can go back and say that we have shot footage of. And this foyer right here, it even has a coffered ceiling. It's trimmed out up top with crown molding. And as usual, let's come in here to the first bedroom up front. You have a full bath. And then let's just call this your guest bedroom up front. Yeah, so these are going to be house two, Jojo, where we're not trying to stretch four bedroom, five bedroom. This is like, you basically need one, two bedrooms. This, these will all be three, but you're going to have a lot more additional features. Yes, because of the lifestyle and the conversation that we're having around this house, this is going to be more geared towards what you've always wanted in a house. Now that you're, let's just say you're in the empty nester mode, you don't want to compromise like stuff on garage space, the expansion of, of the beautiful kitchen, you know, your primary bedroom with a huge uh, primary bath. So you're gonna get all those components in here, but yet still be able to downsize if you came from that oversized double level home. So now as we come in here, you have the traditional nice formal dining room right here. Yep. And so as you see this, they have nice big wide table in here, window placements as far as the treatments. Again, we always talk about how this is just an easy hire to do this after the fact. Yeah, and we were talking to them, you know, whenever you do all of this extra stuff to these houses, usually that, that budget can really start to, to grow. But here you're not really going to see that. These houses are coming nice right out of the gate. But they are. The other and thing is, Jojo, we always come in and there's a either an office down there or right here, but there's no office in here. There's no office. And one of the
of the great things about Coventry Homes is they're able to, to maneuver around the, the floor plan for you, basically what is like a semi-customization to match what you're looking for. And that study is right here placed, strategically oh. placed right here amongst the kitchen, the living area, and close proximity to the primary bath. Jack. Yeah, so they actually put it right here next to the kitchen. We don't ever see that. Even in the other Coventry homes, it's not typical. So I really like that. I love what they did right here for this entertainment oversized island piece here. So when you do have guests over, you have plenty of room and accommodate. And it's like they said, they've even had events here and had hundreds of people in this house. And I'm pretty sure it was not even overcrowded. I didn't even realize it, Joe, but I gotta go back because look at the height on the ceilings. We have massive height in here. So you have just kind of one big open area. And they did say they had 100 people in here for a party and you know they could be in here comfortably. So single level floor plan, three bed, and you've got this massive kitchen area. Yep, you have a, a undermount farmhouse sink here. Nice, beautiful cabinets. I love what they did with the details up top. So it gives, it allows you to see what it would look like if you were to build something, what we call from dirt. And that is putting your own design and taste into the home. Before we get into the garage, I definitely want to show you something very unique about it. Again, I just wanted to mention that particularly Coventry Homes has a semi-customization. And what that means is, is if you needed to move some walls around, you needed a fourth bedroom versus uh, the study or media, there's just a lot of different variations that they can do for you and draw out when you're building from dirt. All right, let's go check out that garage, but sneak peek uh, of that room over there and the primary, we still gotta show you. Oh, and the views. But real quick, you got the big oversized pantry. Walk-in pantry right here. Holy moly, that is massive. Look at that. And you got a spice rack here and it goes all the way back. And then it looks like you got your mudroom right here. Yep, you have your uh, full utility room right here. They've actually put a little slot here to put a refrigerator yep. in this spot. And then you have right here for your washer and dryer. You get a choice between gas and electric. And I was gonna walk right through here. It looks so clear, Jackson, but let me open the door. <laughs> Don't do that, please, Joe. And guess what? I came and checked this out, but you haven't yet. So you gotta go around the corner over here. Let's Joe. go around the corner. Okay. Now open that door, so Joe, Joe. You're not talking about the tandem piece, <laughs> no. right? Where no. I would put the workout equipment. I was surprised at you. So they decided, I've never seen this before, to put oh, stairs. Oh, wow, that's okay. Okay, very nice. So instead of, okay, I'm gonna talk about this. In a garage in Houston, you're gonna have, you may have extra height, you know, in racks, but you're gonna have a pull down, right? Like a big pull down with a ladder. Well, even at my age, it's kind of a pain in the butt to go up and down that. So. So let's go up there and check it out, Jackson. This is completely new that I've seen, and that's why Jackson wanted to surprise me. But they intentionally put this here, and that's why they have the glass door there, so you could see this. Bonus storage space included on all floor plans. Yep. So let's go, I wanna see what that looks like, Jackson. Yeah, he said uh, this is something that he drew up in the new floor plan. A lot of people were asking for it, so you get your own stairwell. So would this be because uh, the community is like a 55 plus and they wanted to have guests to come over or anything like Man. that or just a workshop? Yeah. Really, it's whatever you want basically, anything, right? Anything, but they've completely framed it in and you've got all this storage up here. And then you can see it in its uh, bare, bare bone state basically. You know, you have the stud, you're able to see the wood. On here, they have the tech shield, so it kind of gives you a, an idea of some of the components that are going in here. Yep, and now you've got a little bit more space. You got a little bit more space, got a lot of attic space up here. That's where they have the water heaters, the AC, and heat. Yeah, so now you're not gonna have to pull down the, the cord in the garage and have to go up a rinky yeah. stairs. Like you have your own staircase, you can safely come up, drop your boxes, do whatever, but. This nope. is great for even storage space, right? For yep. all, all, the, all the seasonal items. All right, now we gotta show them that, well, and I like that they still even have, they put the handrail there, yeah, man. the guardrail. All right, so here we are, and I'm looking at this amazing sprawling view that you can see through the rolling hills, but let's come in here. Wow, this, this is absolutely amazing, Jackson. You have a full game room here. I don't even know which way to turn. You have a game room here. <laughs> This Amazing is when we came views. in, hold on. When you were smiling ear to ear, you're like, this is exactly what I want. Yeah, no, this is great. Because you've always wanted yeah. like the movie room, you got the game room. So this is cool. I mean, you got right here, your own yeah, private. Yeah, they did a lot of details here. I think the game room's really nice. It's a great entertainment space. Even Check if out you that want slider that. door right there too, man. You got the big barn door. That and I also a, think it's cool too. Now you've got a, a half bath over here out of the way for all your guests. So that's they, right. Again. So that's right over here. Again, you could convert this if you needed an extra bedroom. It could be turned into one. I mean, obviously you got even room back here and still not compromise on, compromise on this game room space as well. Yeah, I'm not even gonna show them the view from here yet. We gotta go out on the porch, but 
In fact, let's go do that, and then we got to show them the craziest primary bedroom and shower we've All ever right, seen. All right, let's go. So we do have a slider, and, and as usual, Jackson. All right, so here we go on this nice slider right here. I had to darken you, Jojo, just so we could see this view. Now, this is what they said as well. Look at this covered patio. You get the fans, the TV, the fire pit, the barbecue grill. Joe's over here doing a tap dance, and they do have lots available in this community. They sell out super fast with views. In fact, there's a couple other builders that have some available, but this is the closest thing you'll get to like an Austin, Texas view as you can find here in the Houston area. So you've got this beautiful rolling hills, golf course, you have your vineyard, and then coming right over here, we're gonna talk about it in just a sec. Jojo, you sitting and chilling? Just I'm hanging. not leaving. I'm not leaving, Jackson. This is the one thing that's got you thinking you want to age a little quicker. You are loving it you out here, the, Joe. You have the vineyard, you have the lakes, I mean the rolling hills. I'm gonna take a seat you with you. You have the tranquility of out here. And not only that, Jackson, you have a golf course out here as well. Yep. And then you know, one thing they talked about as well was all of the events. So every other Friday, um, they have massive events. They've had car shows. They had an Eagles like replica band. They do every other Friday, they do a taco night out on the ninth green. And he said hundreds of people come and then they'll do stuff out here, you know, in the grass and the fields, they'll do stuff up at the summit. So almost every other week, the developers throwing, you know, big get togethers and everybody in the community shows up. So again, when even when you just drive into here, and we're not crazy far from everybody or everything. In fact, the Woodland Hills, master plan community that we shot at that's in willis texas as well so we're right here just outside of conroe but now you start getting all the the hills and the undulation and you got the vineyard so we're going to show you more of this community but we got to get yeah. you back in the it's house it's nice that uh, you're so close to 45 yeah uh freeway highway 45 to be this close in and to have the rolling hills and to have this type of community and lifestyle not so far away makes it even a, a big plus bonus yep look at that patio that is so cool wow with these high ceilings open concept it is super spacious in here man look at that view jojo okay now they need to start making these for this this is what they call the bunny shot because it should be in a magazine <laughs> Okay, let's go check out that last view of the primary oh, bedroom. Oh, wow, Jackson. Look at the size of this thing. So this, this has is everything amazing. we like. We've I got love the how they have walls. the windows, yeah, here curved out as well. The height, you know, the tall ceilings. Got my sit down, get ready chairs. I'm excited to show them in that bathroom, Jojo. Look at the size of this though. And then right out your, your bedroom is the views of the rolling hills. It's just peaceful, quiet, super green out here. And then. You need and then to you have go in and take you a shower, Jojo. You, this this is no better way to take a shower than in here, Jackson. You got your water valves here, and then look at this sprawling shower. It's super wide. Oh man! And look at it the has bench. a full bench over here. This thing. I mean, is imagine this. You don't massive. have to worry about opening and closing a door. You just turn off your water. You're done and you're able to walk right on out. That is huge. And look at this nice uh, walk-in closet. Yeah, and hopefully by now, you know, you've gotten rid of a lot of the clothes and stuff and whatever, you're downsized a little bit, but that's still an ample-sized walk-in closet. Yeah, just starting over. But the, the bathroom, man, that is the just, bathroom I is have really never nice, seen oversized. Look at this nice day. door here. Look how oh, wide Oh, that's one thing is. he told us too. So he said he completely redrew this plan. He had seven different plans and he kind of combined them all and did the staircase in the back, did the oversized shower, slider doors but he said he wanted yeah. to widen all the doors as well so those are just like huge yeah. and i didn't even look up but uh there was a cascading shower as well coming from the ceiling yes yeah, so you got a couple different nozzles there the big bench but yeah these are really cool spots all right so we're just you know hopping out of this house you can see the view there and, and just wanted to show we've got a couple other builders here and they're going to be you know a, obviously a little bit smaller starting in the 300s but it was pretty cool we were inside this house and a, and a uh, couple came in and they just so happened to be from the northwest just like me so it was a great connection right out of the gate and they i was like well what what has you out in this area and they're like well we've been looking all over but we wanted to be close to 45 close to the airport close to medical and really close to uh the lake conroe access to a lake and a marina and also we really wanted to be close to golf so this hit every single list on the uh, or every check on the list i guess you could say they really enjoyed all these houses the views and so coming from the pacific northwest you know like i did and like they did and seeing the big trees and a little bit of rolling hills that's why this community and in fact we were talking to him he's like man a lot of the stuff here basically as soon as it comes available it's for sale they do have one house available to buy right now uh, and then next month they said that he's going to have about 17 new lots come and he goes you almost got to get onto them ASAP or else they are gone. They are sold out. Look at Selfie Boy. 
Yeah. But what we want to do, we got one more house right here that we want to get you into. And then we're going to check out, you know, partners in building. We've shown them in many other uh, master plan communities. This is going to be more custom. So very excited to go in and check out this big house here next. All right. So these houses are going to get better and better. Trust me. And there's still a lot of this community that you need to see. So real quick, what I want to do is just pull it up on the map like I typically do and show you where we're at. So we've obviously got downtown Houston, Texas, and you keep hearing us. We're talking about Willis, Texas. So we did a video on the Woodland Hills in Willis, Texas, and we have a ton of clients moving to this area. It's right here. Lake Conroe is right in your back pocket. And as you'll see right here, just to the north of Willis, you have Chambers Creek right here. So here, I'm going to show you some directions to a few things, but just so you can see it, it's right up off 45 right here. And then it actually has this, this community right here. And if you look on the map, it doesn't even show it developed yet. That's how new it is, but it's right here. Now here's what's cool about it is four miles away, they have a brand new HEB. This is like the newest HEB, most modern that I've ever seen. And across the street right here, they even have a Kroger. So all of your major grocery stores, you know, there's medical, there's hospitals all around here. You have it very close. Now you're going to hear, we talk to people in these communities today who are moving here from out of state, like the Pacific Northwest, where I'm from, right? And there's reasons that they move to this area. The other thing is, they have very close proximity to obviously Conroe and to the Woodlands, Texas. But another thing that you might be interested in is the International Airport. Now, when I zoom out, you're like, oh my gosh, there's the airport and here's Willis. That's got to be like three hours away. Well, if we actually go right here and I actually select Chambers Creek right here and I'll go directions. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to flip flop and I'll put in IAH that is Bush. You will see that right now, this is rush hour too. It's about five o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, it's 42 miles away, just a 43 minute drive. So from right here, from your community down to uh, in George Bush International Airport, it's just over 40 minutes. So it's really close. That means you split the difference. You've got the woodlands. It's about 15 to 20 minutes away. And you have, you know, obviously the, the lake right in your back pocket. Now, again, what I want to do is talk about the actual community. You can see here that they've got golf courses. This is the same builder that made the high Islands, which I think is an incredible master plan community and Town Lake, which is one of the top selling. So the one thing that you're hearing us talk about over and over is the new community center. And so since it's being built currently right now, I wanted to actually show some pictures of it. You got the drone footage, but you're going to have a full resort style pool in there. You're going to have bocce ball and it's going to have its own workout facility. So if you scroll down, you'll actually see, you know, this is what it looks like. You could see in the drone footage, it looks just like this. So right behind it, you're going to have the putting green and then the big bluff, the hill that drops down. So it's just amazing views. So you'll have the resort style pool. You're going to have all these amenities. And in the drone footage, you're also probably noticing there's already pickleball courts there and there's some dirt spots next to it where they're going to build all the tennis courts. So this place is going to be popping. And last but not least, if you look the event tab here, you got events almost every other week, at least once a month, there's massive events going on. You've got tacos, you got wellness walks, taste and tune. So they're bringing in bands. And we talked to a, a few people there and they're like, yeah, sometimes a couple hundred people show up and you'll notice Easter events, right? So they're having, you know, kids come, this is, you know, they have putting competitions, they have fishing festivals, they got a bunch of different, you know, Christmas events, you name it, farmers markets, car shows, this is the happening place. So wait till you see these next two houses though, because they're entertainers dreams. These are amazing floor plans, single level with great views. Let's go check out house number two. And look at this, you come out here and Jojo gonna take you for a tour. I don't think you're, are you legal to drive that Jojo? Almost, almost. almost. Yeah, you got the golf cart community, so you can cruise around and check out the lots and all the houses on the golf cart. Man, that is a pretty special house, Jojo. Unbelievable. But first, let's go check out these other ones by Caldwell Homes right here, A little Jojo. bit of traffic in there today, Jackson. That's all right. You know, but Caldwell's a very nice one as well. And we actually have not been in one of those on film yet. So let's get it. All right, so real quick, I wanted to just kind of paint a picture of this community. You see there's a lot of work going on behind me, but this side, this is pretty cool. In fact, there's a few people out walking right now, but you've got, you know, these houses that are right along the, the lake here, one of them. And if you can see in the backdrop there, that's called the chapel. So that's another huge meeting area where they're holding a lot of events and it's a gathering area. And as you can see out here, this is all a bunch of vineyards and they're actually, we talked to them and on the signs it says, 
you know, th it's coming soon and they're growing that. So it's something that's gonna be bigger. And then right at the top of the hill here, this is all gonna be grass and green and nice. That's where the model homes are. And then you have the brand new state-of-the-art workout facility and it's gonna have a really cool putting green behind it. And, and right now you're kind of noticing that the golf courses, they have all the sand on the greens right here. It, you golfers know what that's for, but if you're not a golfer, you're like, why is that so brown? They, they put a bunch of sand on here. It's really healthy for the greens. They're watering today uh, to try and get these, you know, greens in tip top shape. So once all that's done, I mean, this is your walking trails every day is, you know, carving through. They've even got a bridge over on that side there. And as you can see, you know, all throughout the community, whenever we're got the drone in the air or anything, there's these, you know, cart paths everywhere. So really that, that ultimate, you know, luxury lifestyle and you can't really see it. You definitely can't hear it, but right over the model homes there, there's actually, you can see the, the signs right there. 45 is right there. I mean, it's like one minute away, but you can't hear it. You can't see it. And that's what's beautiful about this is you're not tucked away just so far from everybody and everything. All right, Jackson, here we go on another one. This amazing home is a single level. Once again, as a matter of fact, they're all single levels, right? Yeah. So, but this is Caldwell. We have not been in a Caldwell home yet, even though they have built in other places around the city. Yeah, the other one is Highlands. And then the other thing you'll notice, we got 2,800 square foot. So these are bigger single level homes, but right away, all these windows right here, this is gonna be your garage. So that might be one of the biggest so garages I, we find. I would, I would definitely point that out out here, Jackson, because this is a 55 plus community. You're close to I-45. What you're getting in these homes, you're not compromising on square footage. You're getting the oversized garages, three car garages, so you can have that golf cart. You can put your additional cars in there, whatever your recreation thing is. Yeah, that's is. what I was saying, Jojo. So we'll show you it, but you got plenty of room to put maybe your hot rod car in there, then your commuter car, then you can put your golf cart in there. And then there's ample of space out here for your wife's car so that she can park. No, that's terrible, but uh, And then just the detail in here. <laughs> you didn't laugh at that, Joe? You didn't think that was funny? Jackson, don't, you know, Don't, don't hit the wife's in. like that. <laughs> so again, the even the curb appeal of this house is absolutely amazing with the stone, the dark trimmed out windows, the, the trim on the you know the fascia board and everything else it has, even the dormers up top. Yeah. This, just this house pops and it's just reeks of modern farmhouse, that modern prairie look again. Jackson, my friend, come on in and take a look around. This. This right here, this foyer. Again, you have nice trade detail ceiling. trade ceilings trimmed out with the crown molding. Okay, so right away. Right away you have a, a bedroom with a full bath and you're gonna see it's pretty spacious in there as well. Now, one thing that's interesting about this house and a, and a lot of them, Joe, obviously it's only three bedrooms. So it's a 55 plus community, but you're gonna be bringing guests. You're gonna be bringing grandkids. And so there's gonna be extra rooms for them. And what she mentioned too, was that every room in here is gonna have its own designated bathroom as well. That's right. And then here they're using it as a sales office, but that would be the oversized garage space. You went quick, Joe. Look at the size of this in here. <laughs> So this is when we walked in, is this all the garage? He said, yes. And we want to develop it like that. And not only is it like, you know, that width, but you get this depth throughout here as well. So you could easily park, you know, vehicles in here with a golf cart, you know, over on one side, bikes, anything. So this is a huge. And just so you know, Caldwell, they're building out in Arizona. So a lot of the floor plans you do see have a little bit of that uh, Arizona. Yep. And then stock. the other thing is right here, they're doing some of the uh, most energy efficient houses. Yeah, they have the spray spray foam insulation. They have the PEX plumbing. Yep. That's what this is right here. That's where your hot and cold water runs. That seems to be the issues in the previous winters is the yeah. freeze. So they're yeah. highlighting a lot of the things that are behind the walls. And then as you overpass this, this is their design packages again. They have papers here, but they're it's so new. They're getting these things set up yep. for you. And then right here, they wanted to do something special to show you that they fully spray foam these attics these are the, i was just talking to some people at my house about this me and some of the neighborhood dads because our houses are older and you can't do that you know you'd have to completely redo it but these are spray foam so these stay like 70 degrees even in the middle of the summer which yep. is pretty awesome you remember the one house we did and it had yep. the chocolate bunny had the chocolate bunny so check this out since we're in here and we're out here this is uh just outdoor life again it's in the rolling hills Again, you're close to Lake Conroe, which is right up here. And we're right up north over here. And as you can see, Dallas is 192 miles away. You have the Sam Houston National Forest. You have a lot of conveniences going on. And again, 21 miles to the airport, international airport at that. Yep. 
and it's just right there off 45, so you can hop on and go. You're like, Joe, but do I get an HEB? Absolutely, look. Hey. They, they highlight Costco, HEB, Kroger, Whole Food Market. Any one of those. And that's not like right here. They're just highlighting like Whole Foods is over here up top. See number five? Yep. So they're just highlighting the areas of where they are, but. Wait a minute, we gotta do some color coordination here. So you got gray. Oh, my bad, gray, my bad. Yes, but restaurants is number five, which is Walden Lakeview Dining. Yep, but you got, you know, grocery stores and everything up there. So let's go check out this house, Jojo. So you, let's, let's You're unsure of your map? <laughs> it's down the woodlands. Yeah, okay, so yeah, it's gonna be the one over there in uh, the woodlands, Hughes yep. Landing. All right, man, this is cool. Look at the size of this, Jojo. Look at this amazing kitchen, ties into the breakfast nook and to the den so area right here. They made All this. All in one space. Super, it's really wide, really big. And you, you got, you know, just three bedrooms, so they're not having to squeeze space to put, you know, a and fourth and you, a fifth bedroom in. Yeah, and this is what's super popular, Jackson, as far as, as you notice again, the study is right off to the kitchen area. Yep. And comment below if you're looking at a 55 plus style community, if this works for you to have a study right outside your kitchen. Yep. Because I feel like, you know what, if I didn't have my kiddos running all around all over the place, I would love that because most of my area would be between here, here, and the primary bedroom. Yep, you'd be coming out here to check on your smash burgers, Joe. Oh, there's a lot more that can go on in this kitchen than smash burgers, Jackson. Look at the size of the island, though. All of them are, they do they this. They are oversized, huh? I'm because telling you. Two different builders, and they both highlighted an Sometimes oversized. Sometimes these floor plans yeah. that we've seen in this 55 community are almost better than the ones we see in the normal. They really do a cool job on these houses. You have a nice walk in pantry coming down this way. Huge pantry. A nice utility room. Yep. You got countertop space, got you a an sink, extra some cabinets, and then this is going to flow through to the primary. Again, bedroom. so now, yeah, you get the, the laundry right here in the back side of your primary, and this is where you would come in from your massive oversized garage, park the golf cart, come in, yep. drop the stuff right here, and right here, enter drop your right golf in. bag right here. No, just... one thing I've noticed in all these, and you don't see these in any of the mass plant communities we've been in, they all have these little wine fridges built into the island. Well, the other know, one had it too. Well, you know why, Jackson. It's because they have their, their vineyard out here, so they're highlighting, hey, this is yep. you know what they have in the community, so I would assume that's why they have all these here. And yeah, she meant, the funny thing is, this community, usually on Mondays, they're not busy wherever we go, but this one's been slamming. We've had to take a lot of breaks because there's people obviously retired you yeah. know, out here, but uh, there's a lot Isn't going there on. Isn't there something to, uh, also just everybody we've met and we've never, again, there's just regular consumers yeah. coming in. Everybody's been super great, super friendly. I Everybody's just, just laughing, had great conversations. joking, having fun. Life is easy I, I, out here. What I really like about, the, about when we meet someone is they tell us why they're moving. Yep. you know here even though we know why a lot of our, our people that reach out to us uh, and what why they're relocating all right jackson so let's go over here and check out this wing over here man look at that view again unreal out there so that is right okay joe so you got a bedroom up front with its own bathroom and then this wing we'll go check it out and before this we got... walked in the wing we didn't even highlight look at this nice fireplace jackson yep. stone and then the trim i mean the trimmed out the uh cedar Yep. Stained beams up here. Yeah, and then they have like their own sections. You know, this is a section with a room over yeah. here. It's got its own bathroom. It's got its own little half bath right there. Got a closet. Wait, no, 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 Joe. That ain't, that's for the guests. That is for the guests, that is correct. Jackson. Holy moly, that ain't even for the bedroom. No. So that's cool. So every bedroom has a full bath as well. And then you, since you have three, you have one up front, this yeah. one, and the primary, and they all have full baths. Because that's what we thought right away was that was the bathroom for this bedroom but okay that that's what's good because remember last video you were like man everybody always asks me for that half bath they guests. do so the, again on a single level home you still get full bathrooms in the bedrooms and then a half bath as well so that's a big plus and i yep. know even on the other house we had someone that made a good comment about that as well yeah and look at they got it set up with like the futon this is totally you can bring the grandkids over here they got a cool little room plenty of room yeah for got the, the desk got the grandkid and got them a bathtub because them dirty little rascals they'll be getting dirty and as you notice they're doing all the doors at 36 inch wide yep. even the last one we were in Everything is big. And then you can store all their extra clothes and toys in here, whatever, so they can, it's out of the way when, when your guests are here. Oh, it looks like another access to a patio. So if that's just for your guests, you know, they would have their own access. And that's cool too. I'm noticing stuff, Joe, it's all clicking. You got that really cool back patio and you got all your friends over and they need to go to the bathroom. Where do they go? They, they come right in, here in over here and they have their own little half bath right there. So that's what. And not only that, you don't always want to come out these big old slider uh, window doors yeah. here. So you do have the big slider in this house as well, Joe. You just got to figure out which side we're rolling from. Yeah, these are really well hid because of the trim on them. So you have this one pop out. This one's a little modern too as well. Man, Joe, Joe, look at this. 
We're gonna retire out here, Joe. Joe, this is the life. This is the life. That, that right over there, what you're seeing is the wellness center being built. When that thing is done, this is gonna be it's, it's, unbeatable. Yeah, it is really, really cool. And we still got more to to show you. But man, you get the rolling hills and the the lakes and the ponds out here, but this is it. You know, it's really that simple living. They really take a lot of pride into the back patio here, the back patio space and that whole living space. And then with every other week having venues and events. And, and for the price point they have out here, it's crazy. very competitive. Uh, you'd be very surprised on, on the price points of some of these homes out here. And also they go all the way up to pretty much a full customization. And we're about to show you what that one is because we have clients that have purchased out in there are currently in that one as we speak. Cool, so you got the designated, you know, cooking station area over here. Man, that view into the house, which is nice. And then this one's got its own separate little area with a yeah, fire Yeah, outdoor pit. fireplace, I love that. And especially when they put the TV up there, it makes a great entertainment yeah. space. And it's opposite in from the uh, outdoor kitchen space. Cool, so let's go check out that primary Joe Joe. I always like that view. I think this is one of the coolest ones. It is, the especially when you have the, the slider open and then walking into the house. Yeah. And last but not least, let's take a look at the primary bedroom. Hey, right. This is a king size bed. As you notice, you still have a sitting area. You have plenty of space for a vanity there. Yep. Great space. A little bit of a wall knock out here so you get that, yeah. that space. Get the big black windows again, views from the primary pretty sweet and then you got a full bath over here look at this amazing bathroom it's it's really wide spacious man toilet it. area this nice shower over here walk-in shower separate tub this across. one's got a tub yeah this is nice they got they a bunch of them had benches you know little extra chairs to get ready uh oh jojo i spot something over there in the corner i get the man bar we gotta oh, get a sniff yes. you know we yeah. always gotta get a sniff on. yeah you know about these bars here we have to Give me some of yeah, that that's action. A, that's a good one, Jackson. Dude, that, that might be the top one so <laughs> far. That, that's a good man bar. Okay, that's cool. I didn't even know. I walked in and I was looking at you. So you got the double vanity and in the tub here. And look what you have right over here. You do. That's what I was just gonna say. You got a get You, got you a have a nice ready. vanity station. Man, when you got something going every other week, you gotta be getting yes, ready a lot. Have, they have right here for the drawers, the pearls, everything. Ooh, it's, it's ready to go. And this one comes with the dual closet. Yeah, separate closets, which is really nice. They have record. some shelving over here on this side. Yeah. Plenty of room in here. Shoe closet. And that one goes. This is earlier. I forgot, yeah. <laughs> when we were at the utility, this comes out again to the utility room. Gotcha. So this one is awesome. You got your own closet. You can do your laundry right here and you're walking into the closet to hang it. That is pretty nice. Since all you're living now is going to be basically right here. You won't be trucking all the clothes to your kids' rooms all the time. It's just right there. Said and done. And they got a fridge, Joe, Yeah. as you blast that open. So one other thing that I wanted to talk about and mention as you can check out this cool backdrop here is that you're, again, up north in, in Willis, Texas, not far from 45. So this is also something, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, is that just like the people we saw here, their, their children moved here to Houston, Texas. And so they're moving here to be close to them. And this is a conversation I've had with both of my parents as well. And this would be an incredible spot for the ultimate lifestyle, right? Because you have the golf, the vineyards, all of the activities, all of these lakes to go fishing at but we also are a very active sports family me personally with three younger kids and a lot of our basketball and soccer tournaments volleyball all of that is in the woodlands conroe it's in tomball maybe even cyprus and so you're actually a closer drive to get to those basketball or those sporting tournaments than we are when we come from you know kingwood texas so if you're going to be moving here as well to be close to family and you know especially if they're playing a lot of sports or moving to one of these major suburbs up north houston you're going to be really close to them but have you know kind of this dream living scenario here at old Chambers Creek. Yeah, I grew up calling it a creek, but it's Chambers Creek. All right, here we are. This is one of our favorites, Jackson, because they have customization and the service they give. They, what means is, is they actually draw the plans from scratch for you. So there's not one plan that's the same in essence. And so we're gonna walk this house. However, if you have something else totally in mind, they do that for you here. And we have clients that have built around the city on this particular plan. They do an amazing job, even what they do behind the walls. So let's go in and take a look at this home. Now you do get the big, you know, three car garage. And what you'll notice too is these, uh, is the only house that they're building on the 80 foot lot. So this is where you can still get your space. And if you want to be the ultimate entertainer house of the whole community, this is the style of house that you're gonna wanna build. Wait till you see inside of here. Yeah, again, this is the 80 foot lot. And let's take a look. Well, come on in, Jackson. All right, Jackson, come on in and take a look around. That is amazing, Jojo. So you 
From the initial walk-in, this foyer area, you see the big sliders right here on the opposite wall. So it's not traditional. Again, this is drawn out. You have a flex space in here. And what's really nice is you have two bedrooms, one to the left and then one right straight ahead. Okay, so still just a three bedroom house, Joe, but they've got these barn doors. So you could almost just shut this whole thing off right here. Yep. But this is where your other two living spaces will be. This is your other two living spaces. And then look, they even put a pocket door here, which is really nice. So this is like its own like suite. You could shut this pocket door and now you've got a full bathroom. Look, you got coffee. It's your favorite, Jojo. You love your coffee. My favorite, my coffee station. So if you were staying here, man, you got your own coffee station. You got a full bathroom and your own private bedroom in here with closet, yep. double door closet. This house is going to be two rooms over on this side. That means the living space over there and where all the magic happens yeah. is going to be really and remarkable. And keep in mind, this is a luxury custom builder. And if you see something in here and you're like, we get sometimes we get comments, oh, I really don't like the placement of this or that. Well, this one, you can actually change exactly the way you want it. Yep. Just like she mentioned, obviously you've got a, uh, another bedroom, full closet over here. Really nice with a full bathroom. Again, everything has its own full. Um, as she was mentioning, this is actually your office right here and you can do glass doors right there if you want or you could just have French doors, yes. whatever. Yeah, you could do anything. It, you know, this could be a, definitely an option if you're looking for that. We're gonna save this area over here to, to the left of you, Jackson. Gotcha. That is the primary. So let's come over here and take a look at the no, main. I made the executive decision. We're showing that last primary first and then because right, that is the coolest go. living space I've ever seen. But right away, when you do walk in, check that out. You have two covered patios back here yeah. and the turf. That's what I like. And then, you know, Jackson, just so you know, these are not sliders. You're, the slider's actually on, on the other side. Gotcha. I okay. just wanted to verify that it when I saw it. It does look like a slider there. I now, might try and pull You're like, well, I really wanted a slider. That can be an option as well. You're the slider pro, boy. Okay, so right here, if we're going to show the primary and it's this cool, wait till you see the living Correct. space. Correct. So let's come over here. Turn in there, Jackson. So right away it's you got. Not the primary. Nope. It's so the utility room. Utility room. Never seen that before. That's cool to have the hanging yeah, bar right there. something very unique. But good space right here, and it's going to be right by your primary bedroom. Again, you're going to be the ones basically living here and doing everything over here. So to have it close to you. So look, nice. you have a nice hallway going into your primary bedroom. But hold on, Jackson. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's let's take you. Whoa. Well, let's. Should we go into? The, we'll save that. Right? Okay, save that too. Right, yep. Let's go over Slide. Here. Back. So come on over here to the primary bedroom. Look at the height. You have a nice here. cathedral style ceiling in here. Nice window placement. Plenty of room. And they went with the green theme, baby. Yeah. Yeah, this is huge. And Jackson, you do not have an entrance to the bathroom right nope. there. I do dig that. So you don't see it from the bedroom. It's going to be obviously down the hallway here. But Jojo, you made a good. If I was going to be buying this, I'm, I'm putting some kind of door to my patio for my. That's right. So again, customization, what option would you go with? Would you go with the nice slider here? So that way you have complete view to your backyard and then all Man, the outside. I out don't there. know. Or maybe just a door over here or maybe on this wall somewhere to, to get to the back. That would be pretty cool. Personally, but. I'm going with the slider. Yeah, I know you are. You know, no questions asked. I just yep. want it done. I didn't even notice it, but okay, see how much space you have in here from bed to the wall there. So, I mean, they've got chairs, the, the, the dress, yeah. and all that. So, they, this is a really, really big room. Now, we'll go check out that bathroom. And this then... one has its own uh, thermostat in the bedroom. So, that means you're going to have your own cooling and heat in your bedroom. Which is a must, I must yes. say. That's what we have. Okay, let's so this let's way. check this out. And what do we have here, Jackson? Look at that, right away, custom towel closets with the glass. Does this not feel like a spa type feel? Man. Now look at this. Is, see, and they finally did. Hey. So, there's me and the JoJo. A custom closet here all the way to the ceiling. I yes. really do like this. Uh, this mirror is really, really nice. I know my wife would like that yep. coming in. It's just, that's a great feature. But what they did to here to have like cabinet space and everything else here. Yep. Both sides. Two sides, both sides. Yeah, you got the drawers here with the easy shuts. I mean, this is really nice. Already built out for you, custom closets. Don't have to worry about nothing. Got all the space. And then you got dual vanity and Double a vanity sweet. sinks. Look at this nice color they use for the vanity yeah, here. Yeah, just a light stain. Yep. Huge. Nice soaker tub. Super deep tub. Walk-in shower. Got the toilet back there. Toilet back there. We know what all that's about. And you still get that big, massive walk-in. They're, they're all about their walk-in showers here in this community, ain't they? They are. All right, Jojo, we got to go show them the living 
good space because it is awesome. Well, let's take a look over there. And I'm glad you did save that for last because it does have a pretty nice impact. And that's what I mentioned. Like, okay, now you're in this 55 plus community and they're not telling you to, to give up. They're like, this is where we're now gonna go have a lot of fun. That's Everybody right. here is happy. And this is what people get to walk in so and see So the majority your of your house. time, if you're not in your primary bedroom, you're gonna spend the majority of your time right here in this space. Check that out. You've got your own custom bar area and you do get a slider over here. So this would walk us outside um, to go right. be out there. Let's go check out that patio because there's like a dual patio. All right, let's see if they left it open. That is awesome. So imagine you're entertaining right now. People can be hanging here, walking in and out. You got the big fans, the turf. You're checking out the views. You're checking out the golf course. Probably got all your friends parking the golf cart along the back fence, walking in and JoJo's here. Right here taking Make care of the food. Taking orders and making burgers, baby. Check out the back of this house. This is living here. Man, that's cool, JoJo. Yeah, it's really nice. Spectacular. I, I just love the wide view of it. It's got a lot of, it, it almost feels like a, uh, an out, it is an outdoor living space, but yep. it has that, di like you're inside in a den right there, right? Yeah, I mean, it's just awesome how covered it is. And then now you get this 80 foot lot. Can they put pools in this community? Absolutely. Okay, so even, what about like the smaller 40 and 50 foot lots? You'd be shocked to know that they even, people are even putting little sliver sized pools. What, what do we call some of those? We call them spools. Yeah, but they put a, like a lap pool in. So, you know, this isn't gonna be the, the area where you're gonna be diving boards and hanging, but they you don't need all that, every just morning. somewhere to dip in, somewhere to get that exercise yep. and get so forth. Get a pool yeah. heater, but man, look at that view again. You got the lake and we keep talking about it, but when this rec center is done, which it's almost there, this place is going to be the top And notch. as you notice right there, there's part of the golf cart path yep. right there. And the and the uh, you got tee boxes right here. So, I mean, you're, you're golfing, you're hanging right here. This is the ultimate lifestyle, Joe. It is. Let's go finish that custom kitchen. Jojo, look at that kitchen. Man, just the natural stain with the is it dark green? We're loving the green this year, and it matches right yep. over there with the it's bar. A, it's an off tone of now, it, I'd have to say. Looks like the appliances are a step up from what we've been seeing as well. Yeah, these are really nice. Look I at mean, that the details stove. on them, just the way they, yeah, professional series gas cooktop. Look at this nice thick. Man, so this, okay, now burner. we've got, you know, more of the customization. You get, even got the bigger fridge here. Oversized, uh, oversized, insert trimmed out refrigerator space. You have your coffee station, Jackson. Two coffee stations for Joe. That's how much coffee you go through, huh? Double oven, microwave space, then coffee station, of course, coffee cups and everything else. And the island game here is big Again, as well. Again, regardless of what home we saw, they always have the oversized island piece. Yep. As you can see that you have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, they were mentioning, you know, you can throw, they host parties here as well. So you'll have a group of people over here and they're, you know, talking, hanging out and they can hang at the island and sit. And then, you know, you might have some people hanging outside and then you got another group here, you know, at the bar and then you got another one hanging over here. So you can really do some entertaining. You do, you know, it's, in this and space. it's just a great open space, a double trade ceiling. And this one, they actually kind of put the, the TV room. It's more of like a private area. Like you would come in here, watch the masters in, in a yeah. couple of weeks and just really hang out. And it's more private. It's not in the middle of everything. And then you've got kitchen and bar area over here. Let's check out the bar. Got the custom cabinets and they even have the wet sink here. So you can wash your glasses, ice buckets, put the uh, custom rack there for all the glasses and check out your view. So all your guests are looking out the window. You know, Jackson, just standing over here, this has that true Austin, Texas feel. I didn't even know like this, these views we're here in Houston, you know what I mean? Yeah. And actually we're in Willis, Texas. However, it's completely different from anywhere else. That's out right. Here. All right, Jojo. So we got to talk about some prices for not only this house, but all three of them. All right, Jackson. So let's get to the price and availability on this out here. Again, most, most people are going to end up in that uh, mid 500s, low 600 range. They have starting base price from 490 down to 554. Again, you have to reach out so we can really let you know what that gets you because they do have some incentives. This house right here that we walk, this amazing house, it's 2,800 square feet and it is called the blessing. And yes, this is a blessed house, Jackson. And I see it right there at 541,000, but this one had a lot of upgrades and stuff. What, what does that look like about? You know, the typical upgrades that people are spending in this house are about $70,000, you know, give or take. However, if you do that in Town Lake, 
you can pretty much double that, Jackson. Yeah, so that's one thing he was mentioning. He used to work in Town Lake for like seven about years. About $100,000. Yeah, yeah. He, would, he would say the upgrades over there were considerably more than, than here. And a lot of his stuff just comes this way. And then he also is working with clients too. Correct, to, correct, yeah. To, to lower that a little bit. And, and he said for you to just call and reach out to him with your clients. That is true. And just so you know, this community, from the minute you walk in, it is a 24 man gated community. Yep, and then? Man, you just can't get enough of that lifestyle there, Jojo. All right, Jojo, so the second house, we're back in here, the Caldwell Homes. What you got for prices, homie? Well, we have everything over from lot selections over here, and then we're gonna get into price. These are base prices. They have a 50-foot and a 60-foot product right now. This home right here is in the 60-foot section, Jackson, and it's, and it's this one right here at 28, 22 square foot. And this house right here is gonna run you, as you see the base is from 557 to 571. People are right over that 600,000 mark on this particular home. Built out the way you see it, Jackson. And then also, if they're looking for something else that do, they don't need as much square footage, as much square footage, you can go to the 50 foot section and be right there in the four to 500 uh, price point. And as you see right here at 2100, uh, square foot home is 478. So they got them in the fours and the fives mainly. And then if you want to deck them out, all bells and whistles make them amazing. Yeah, the only, just the only thing is they have lot premiums. A lot of these builders out here, the only thing that you're going to pay extra than the norm is going to be to get that view out there. Some, it's just a very spectacular view, of course, but they are, do have availability on those as well. All right, Jojo. Last but not least, the partners in building custom house. What kind of prices? Now, we don't have like seller sheets out here. There's not a lot of, of stuff available. What, what's up with that? Well, the reason why Jackson is because, and I'm, well, I'm not gonna have a, a specific sheet because they're, like I said, they build customization on it. So they have their base price homes starting in the mid 700s, however they go up into the millions. And again, to get the best lot, the views and so forth, you're gonna be in the, around that 1.2 million plus range. So you're gonna have variation depending on what you're gonna design and build out in your lot location and placement. So right now they would be buying the dirt and doing a full custom, but what if there's somebody watching the video right now who wants a custom house on the golf course, on the island, right now. On the golf course, on the island, customized right here. They have one for 1 1.2 at 3,200 square feet. And that's 1.2 million, Jackson. That is 1.2, and that's gonna be on the golf course. Super hard, you know, yes. rare lot. And that one is available if you call Mr. That Jojo right now. That is correct. Now the same developer who built this built a master plan community that is really close to the international airport and really close to downtown Houston. And it is personally one of my top favorite master plan communities. And it's right here. We did a full video on it. In fact, it's a really fun one because I took my wife with me to go into the houses and to really critique them of what she likes. So if you want to see that community, it's right here.